Hey guys, um, today I wanted to do a breakdown on the Quantum Reel. Um, my particular reel is the Escalade, it's the ESC100. It's got the 7 gear ratio on it, which makes it a little faster. Um, the issue though, and I find a, I've found through my research that a lot of people are having the same issue, um, is that when you click it and you go to cast, everything's fine until you go to reel back in. And when you go to reel back in, all you get is a weird tapping, for the lack of a better word, I guess, grinding noise. Um, I looked online for solutions, and all that anybody really had as far as an explanation, a possible explanation, was that they come over greased from the factory. Um, while I'm not completely excluding that, I mean, that, that, that probably wouldn't help, I don't guess, if they were, you know, completely packed full of grease, but that wasn't the problem with mine, and I highly suspect that that's not the problem with yours either, if you're having that problem. Um, what it boils down to is it's a spring on the inside, and unfortunately, it's way down at the bottom. Uh, you almost have to disassemble this thing 100%. That being said, it's not extremely difficult. Okay guys, so I have taken off the side. Um, all it is is this little screw here on the side um, with this little this little clip, much like any, any other reel in the entire world. Um, so we'll go ahead and take off the side, uh, little, little nut on the side, remove your handle. No big deal so far, you know. Um, remove this washer. There's actually, there's actually two of them here. Go ahead and get these two off. And then you can go ahead and remove your drag. Uh, originally, this is going to click. But it'll, it'll stop once you get it off a little bit. And it'll pretty much free spool after that. You can just go ahead and knock that off. Um, after this, there is your drag. There's this little dude with a, with a few washers you can see here. Um, when I take this off, I try and just, just kind of leave them alone, you know. Set them down flat like it was. Um, again, you know, there's an, another washer here. There's plenty of washers, so that one goes underneath it. Um, at this point, there are three screws. I've already, I've already taken them out. Uh, one here, one here, and one on the underneath side right here um, for this plate. There's an additional fourth on the inside. Um, you have to take this other side off. This is fairly simple. It just snaps and uh, just pull, just pulls right off. It's it's all one piece. It's you know not a big deal. You can just kind of set it set it to the side. Um, after that, you've got your spool. Um, comes out. Um, I would recommend doing it without any line. I've made a little weird little kink in here to keep my line from coming out because it's a nightmare when it gets all, you know, frayed up in there and stuff. So, um, something to think about. Um, the fourth screw where it comes in, I have, um, I have it sitting down here on the bottom. The, on the Escalades, the fourth screw is on the inside right here. You take it off, and uh, again, it's a, it's a little silver, a uh, little silver one. All the others are black. They made this one silver. Uh, it looks like it's pretty close to the same as the other ones. I don't know. I don't, I don't see a reason to change it up. So, put it back where it goes. Um, and at this point, once you remove that screw, this side is ready to come off. All of uh, your adjustments and stuff, they all they all come off with it. Um, just com comes right off. Um, the bearings in here, um, they can fall out. They're very simple, and they don't like, you know, they don't fall to pieces and stuff. That you know, it's just uh, I think it's two pieces, a little washer and a, a sealed bearing. So if it falls out, it's not a big deal. Just toss it right back in uh, and set that little dude to the side. Okay, so now we're into the guts of it. Um, this is where the actual problem comes into play. Uh, it's this little piece right here. Uh, I'm actually going to use a screwdriver because my finger's too fat. Um, this dude right here is your problem. Um, this spring, for whatever reason, they have made it, um, I don't want to say real weak, but they've made it weak enough that it will not throw this out far enough. Um, let me take this gear off and you can see it a little bit better what happens. Um, 
this little white piece as well with these springs and this little gear can come off um, just set it to the side it's it's not a real big problem it doesn't have to come off but what happens is when you go to click this um, it'll try and throw it up so you kind of have to hold it and stuff so there's no need for it to be on there but anyway so what's happening with them again is this spring it's too loose um, I what I did is I unscrewed the little screw here for your trigger that's your little trigger mount um, unscrew it and then unscrew this one a little bit um, I didn't unscrew it all the way because my concern was with this spring on the top and this spring down here if you unscrew this all the way and it comes all the way off I was concerned about it just you know just exploding basically and you know launching this spring behind you know my washing machine and this one goes in the trash and the dog will eat this piece or you know you get the drift so what I did is I took this one all the way off and I loosened this one a lot but I didn't take it all the way off because again I didn't want it to spring out so once you can get this to lift up a little bit you can pop this little spring out of the back because it, it comes in from the back side so that has to be lifted up a little bit so you can pop it off the bottom once you do that all that you really need to do is just grab that spring and just kind of open it up a little bit more you know so it has a, a, a little bit more tension on it and what it does is it will actually throw this piece up okay so when you normally click it right it will go up and that engages see now that's engaged to those teeth I've, I've fixed it now what it used to do see now it, cl it clicks back what it used to do is you used to be able to do this real slow and if you did it real real slow it would lock up but you can see I can't even force it to mess up now because I've stretched this spring how it should have been from the factory really um, and now I can't even make it do it but what it used to do is it would when you went to click it it would click but it would not go all the way it would stop here because this spring wasn't strong enough to actually throw it every time and what you would end up with is this down here well you would have this you'd go to real and not a thing sometimes you would have it and you could you know it would catch the very very tip of it and you would have this little clickety 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 noise but it would never do anything um, so that's the problem guys um, if you can again just take this off loosen this up a little bit slide that up pop that spring off respread it stick it back in um, to do reverse assembly of it you know and at that point it's done guys I mean this thing um, since I've done it it's a $60 reel I think it was like $59.99 so it's it's not you know Again, it's not a real cheap reel, but, you know, I mean, it needed needed some help, so it got it, and I fixed it, and it's pretty solid. I mean, I just, you, you can't even make it do it anymore if you try, so um, that's the fix, guys. So. Hey, guys, thanks for the view. Um, we're going to be coming out with videos from time to time, um, hopefully as, you know, as often as we can. Um, I just created this channel. This is the first video that I've actually done on it. So that's why it's horrible. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Again, I hope that it helped somebody. Um, be on the lookout. We'll have some stuff coming. Hopefully something you'll enjoy.